波動の急所を抜一等火葬。Alright, what's going on, guys? Fumbles back again, coming at you with the Should You Summon for the Visored Banner. Now, the Visored Banner will be coming out literally within 24 hours. Visored Summons the Revengers High. Now, keep in mind that the name on this banner specifically says Visored Summons the Revengers High. It does not say Karakura Battle, it does not say full,、uh, like, um, Not full b r a i n It doesn't say Lost Agent. It doesn't say any of that. It specifically says Visored Summon. So, this leads me to believe that we will probably get more Visored Summon banners in the future. Pro probably if this sells well.、Um, my, my real main concern is that this is a premium pool banner, so I wouldn't really advise anyone summon on it unless you're missing a lot of the characters or you have such an excess in orbs that you don't really care too much about saving for anniversary because you've already saved enough. you know?、Uh, with anniversary, I could potentially see a. Of the same setup that they did last year, where we got on July 16th, we got Art Book Ichigo. July 23rd, we actually get our anniversary character with 6th anniversary Aizen. This one's going to be 7th anniversary. And then followed up with a three character banner for end of the month. Could, bring, could be Thousand Year Blood War. They do have the license for it. It could be it could be Burn the Witch. It could be Spirits Are Forever With You. They could really go a lot of ways. To be honest, what they will do, I don't know. I can't really, you know, I, I don't work for K Lab. As much as people like to DM me and try to fix, to fix their issues as if I'm K Lab customer support, I'm not, I don't work for K Lab. So, um, Just keep in mind that this is a premium pull banner. My only real recommendation, if, I, if, I, if I'm being honest, is if you are missing a lot of these characters and you really want these characters, Lisa and Shinji, in my opinion, are busted. Lisa is probably the best mind character in the game, even with her abysmal killer. As much as people want to say, oh, but Quincy Killer, it's getting Goku, I don't care. Abysmal killer. Doo -doo. All right, so then we have Spirit Society Ichigo, Soichi, Yukio, Chad, Mashiro, Raruka. Now I'm going to be going over the characters that I feel are relevant to even talk about. Let's just get right into it.、Um, boom, boom. So, first and foremost, Shinji. He is going to be the melee hollow killer that we've been kind of wanting for a long time. He has a walking vortex, he has a lunge for a strong attack, and with his walking vortex, he also has a boost. As well as Enhancer, so he has a 20 second boost with Booster. So he's gonna be the first Booster character, well, excuse me, he's gonna be the second Booster character, but the first for Heart. He has a Berserker of 50%, a Bruiser of 80% when you calculate in that normal attack damage 20% link, which is really, really good. And on top of that, for Guild Quest, he has Melee damage plus 10%, 30% in Guild Quest, Killer Effect plus 30%, plus 50% in Guild Quest, and then he has Long Reach. He has Long Reach and Flurry. For a melee NAD character, that is awesome. He also has Poise, which is really good for when his,、um, his Walking Vortex runs out. The Walking Vortex is definitely going to be really, really good for crowd control. If you're still using 5th Anniversary Byakuya、um, for Melee Week, if you don't have.、Uh, who do I use for Melee Week? I think I use. I want to say that I still use 5th Anniversary Ichigo. He still does incredibly well. But if you're still using like, someone like 5th Anniversary Byakuya, etc., etc., Like, this character is going to help crowd control a bit more during the, the stagnant points.、Um, one thing to note, though, is that he actually does have a built in Marauder. So, he does have Guard Break as well as Nullify Melee Resistance. So, if you're new to Guild Quest and you're doing Guild Quest normal for the first time or you're starting to get into it, this character can be used in ranged Hollow Week, which is really, really good for newer players. And this also means that you can use him as a booster with the booster skill for ranged Hollow Week. In hard guild quest, if you don't have a good booster for ranged hollow week, that's awesome too.、Uh, he does have poison immunity as well, which is good for melee week, and then sprinter plus one, which is just kind of standard. In arena, he gets last ditch, but、um, if you want to give him last ditch from the team 15, can't really blame you. He, he's, he's just an overall really good character. I love the booster skill, it, 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 it really does make a huge difference on top of his bruiser 80% flurry, killer effect plus 30%, melee damage plus 10%, and those. The killer effect damage up and the melee damage up get amplified in Guild Quest. Freaking awesome character. Next, we have Lisa, probably the best mind character in the game. In my opinion, she's the best mind character in the game. I only really compare her to Yoruichi in terms of damage just because she does have a lot of attributes to her that actually make her deal a lot of damage. And even though I think that Yoruichi. Um, will edge her out in damage in the long run. This Lisa, I can't, you can't knock her. You, you just can't. Like, she's insane. So. 
First and foremost, her first strong attack is going to be the 1200 by 1200 shotgun like blast. Not really a crazy amount of range, obviously a 3000 length beam would be uh, ideal, but still a good first strong attack nonetheless, melee collision, right? Next we have the second strong attack, 750 by 750 this is going to be the same as Bankai Shuhei. If you're familiar with Arpa Gichigo's first strong attack, then you should know how this strong attack works. It's literally just a vacuum into explosion, deals good damage. Third strong attack, standard full screen third strong attack comes out relatively quickly. I checked the activation times. And then on top of that, you can actually see her in her full glory where she has a strong attack recharge link. She has a Quincy killer, which sucks, but I love talking to people who don't really follow the news anymore. I'm like, I'm like, okay, he, she has a strong attack recharge link with Quincy killer. And they're like, oh, and then I'm like, she has berserker 40%. Oh, she has mind attribute character, strong attack damage plus 20%. So that's going to stack onto the berserker very, very well, because that's going to be a multiplier. And then you also have the bruiser 20%, debilitator plus five seconds. She also has paralysis and lacerate um, for seven seconds, which is really, really, really strong, by the way. Debilitator five seconds on lacerate is awesome. Devastation 40%, frenzy plus one. Havoc 20%, so she does have the Havoc for a premium pool character, that's awesome. Increased status element chance against all heart attribute enemies, it is not affiliation locked, which is awesome for IT. In IT, a lot of times you'll see paralysis immunity um, on the enemies, she's still going to have the lacerate to proc, which is awesome. Like having dual status elements is really, really nice to have, especially for breaking through Iron Guard. That's usually why I don't like playing with characters like um, Machine Society Nemu whenever they're paralysis immune, Candice when they're paralysis immune, it really screws up the, with the flow of the characters and who you want to play with. So status element, spiritual pressure boost plus 80% means she's going to be dealing massive tons of damage. So just from the multipliers alone, you can actually see here, if we compare her to someone like Yoruichi who has full stamina damage boost, let's just say for the sake of argument, we're going to have the enemy already weakened for Yoruichi. She has frenzy plus, um, frenzy plus one times 1.8 for the spiritual pressure boost times, let's just assume that we're going to be rocking. I think that she has a berserker. Okay. So she does have a berserker of 40%, but let's just say for the sake of the argument, we're going to be rocking both of them with um, eight, like, let's just say we're using hybrid links. So 1.76, will give them both this multiplier for berserker, and then we'll give them as if they're using a Chad Senkaimon link, right? Now, uh, multiply this by the 1.2 plus the Chad link plus the 25 full stamina damage boost link, which will probably give her anyways, right? So we're going to give her times 1.57. So times 1.7, that's going to be the full stam 50% from the links as well as the IT uh, T15 uh, link. And then the uh, full stam link that she has built into her. And then we're going to give her... And no, I mean, we already gave her everything else. Okay, cool. So that's awesome. Like you see here, 1,077 damage. Uh, keep in mind that if you, if you, let's just say for the sake of the argument, we have the 1.5 damage. Let's just assume that the enemy is weakened. And let's just assume that we give her 20% damage to weaken enemies as well. Screw it. Why not? 1,938 as the baseline damage for this character. Now, obviously, it's not going to be perfect math. Otherwise, I'd, I'd, I should use the builder, to be honest. But this is a lot quicker, in my opinion. And uh, yeah, yeah, I'd rather just get this done and over with as quick as I can, but while being as open as I can as well. So uh, let's just get right into it. So Lisa, we're going to get the Frenzy. We're going to get the 1.76 for the Berserker plus 36% plus her Berserker 40% built into the character. We're going to give her the Mind Attribute Strong Attack Damage plus 20%, which goes to your entire party, not just Soul Reapers, which is freaking insane. And then we're also going to give her um the spiritual pressure boost plus the multiply in the fact that she does have the damage to lacerate enemies plus 40 percent let's just say for the sake of the argument instead of your Weechi getting full stam damage and then damage to weaken enemies lisa will be getting damage to weak uh, lacerated enemies times 1.8 instead of 1. Uh, 1.4 because of the damage to lacerated enemies uh, one person was asking it's like oh well why would you not do damage to paralyzed enemies the reason for that is even though it does multiply well into the status element damage to lacerated enemies is still a 40 percent damage multiplier instead of a 20 percent damage to paralyzed enemies is 20 percent sorry that i'm talking fast by the way i'm trying to just you know i'm, I'm trying to pound this out as fast as possible so a uh, full stam times 1.5 because of the um 
full stamina damage boost from the T15 as well as the full stamina damage boost from the Chad and we're going to be getting a baseline of 2052 damage. Now obviously weakening will prevent the enemies from uh, dealing a lot of damage to you so it does protect you a bit but Lisa has paralysis which lasts a lot longer so for content like um guild quest for example lisa's gonna be a queen bro <laughs> like being able to paralyze the enemy non-stop over and over again no matter like actually well now nah, i guess she does need to she, she, to be fair she does need the enemy to be hard attribute but then again yoroichi needs the enemy to be mind as well so I, like you know it, it is what it is it's a give and take either way she, she's gonna be excellent and then the lacerate gives you damage ticks as well as the paralysis which allows them to not be able to move it's really good <laughs> really 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 good i personally love this lisa i think she's gonna be insane and on top of that she has a really good kit she might not have the 3000 length beam but the 1200 by 1200 is a very 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 good replacement i'll take that over like the 750 aoe that um the yodoichi actually has i think the yodoichi is 750 right yeah aoe distance 750 it's not a bad strong attack it's just lisa's is better <laughs> all right so next going into love I think they cuck love. I'm not gonna lie. I see a lot of people talking about love how he's really good 3000 length beam He does have six anniversary Aizen's beam, which is really good. So it has more width than normal He has the 1170 aoe third strong attack if you're familiar with Kirinji, mind Koga as well as a Bankai Hikone very very good third strong attack his second strong attack is uh, I keep forgetting what the second strong attack is um, second strong attack is gonna be Oh, the 870 AoE Lunge. Very, very good Lunge, by the way. And he does have Havoc 20%, Berserker 40%, which is really good. He has Burn on all of his attacks. Strong Attack Recharge 14% Link, but he has a Human Killer, which kind of holds him back a little bit, in my opinion. But the fact that he does have Berserker 40% and uh, Havoc and Frenzy means that he is a good character. It's just that when you're comparing him to characters like Lisa, it's just night and day difference. Like, for example, if we give him the same stuff that Lisa has in terms of skills and links, uh, we're going to get the Baseline times Frenzy times times 1.76 for the Berserker, times 1.5 for the full stamina damage boost, and then let's just assume that we gave him damage to burning enemies plus 20%. He's only dealing 633. He's literally dealing a third of the damage of Lisa, which is freaking stupidly insane that she deals that kind of damage. And then on top of that, he doesn't have Disabler. He doesn't have um, any team party utility. He, it, 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 I feel like he just got cucked. Now, he does have Frenzy plus two if you get him to level 10 in Arena as if you want to really waste those types of resources on only one character when Bruno still is king of Arena. And then you also have Poise and Star Power Up item plus two, which is which is good, but it's a lot of investment. So unless Love is your favorite character, it's kind of like, eh, do I really want to do that? He has Last Ditch, Poison Immunity, and Sprint plus one. So yeah, I mean, I, I do like Love. I think he's a good character, but it it's just like when you compare him to the Lisa, when you compare him to the Shinji it's just uh, it, the difference is literally just night and day like I just broke the, the website oops all right so going into the rest of the characters in the banner sorry that I literally just spent like 12 minutes just geeking about these characters they are good it's a great banner in my opinion but they are premium posts so just keep that in mind now going into Yukio he has an Aronkar killer increased status omen chance against technique attribute Aronkars this in my opinion at this point now is just too limiting um so I wouldn't really recommend summoning for him if you want to work on him I don't think he's bad like he has plus 50% killer effect in multiplayer quests, but I don't really think that this is enough considering he only has a Berserker 20%. Um, if the enemy is immune to paralysis, this increased status omen chance just gets completely cucked. Like right now, the enemies are immune to paralysis. Why? Right? Uh, fire immunity, sprinter plus one, his kit, 18% mag for strong attack, diarrhea flow. Next, we have Spirit Society Ichigo. I love this character i know a lot of people don't like this character but um he did get fixed which is good uh, speed attribute soul reaper damage to status element effect the enemies plus 20 percent very very limiting in my opinion but he does have frenzy plus two a really really bad kit but he does have frenzy plus two and he also has increased status element chance against power attribute hollows and he has weakening and burn on all of his attacks so having two status elements just like i talked about with lisa it is very nice to have in content like it because even if they are immune to one of them at the very least you're popping off something right he does have sharpshooter as well and debilitator plus five seconds which is awesome for burn and even obviously it's standard for weakening but awesome for burn all right so he does have what does he have he's a berserker Oh no, he just has Frenzy plus two. Uh, recover 20% stamina, dodge hollow damage, freeze immunity. So he does have a team heal, which is awesome. Um, first strong attack, 18% magnification for strong attack. It's trash. Uh, second strong attack is going to be the vacuum into pushback. If you're familiar with Spirits Are Forever with Yuretsu, 
Um, like, uh, let, me, let me pull up other characters in case you don't know Retsu. Uh, Noel, Alkiora, Toshiro. Just know that this character has a stall mechanic on his second strong attack, so he'll vacuum, wait like a good second, which sucks, and then the pushback takes place. So in my opinion, his second strong attack is very, very inferior, especially to Retsu's. So it's unfair to say that they're similar. It's just they work similarly, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, when you play with this character, you'll definitely understand what I'm talking about, that second strong attack. Third strong attack, standard full screen. Overall, he is a good character. It's just that there's better, and in my opinion, I think speed is due for a quote-unquote broken character like Yoruichi, like this Lisa, like Bruno, like Artbook Ichigo, like 6th Anniversary Eisen. I think speed is like in this weird place right now. Uh, next, Soichi. Um, pretty good character. I I'd say like they're worth working on, but they are a premium pool unit and they don't have Havoc. They have Frenzy, Guard Break, Berserker 20%. They also have full stamina damage boosts uh, as their soul trait, and then they're immune to a couple of status elements. Nothing too crazy, but overall a good character because you have two killers as well. Next, we have Chad. Uh, hit hit an enemy chance 100%. Guard Break, he does have Poise, which is eh, kind of weird, but okay, sure, why not? Berserker 40%, and he does have Insta Kill on his special. He's an Rock Art Killer, but nothing really too crazy. He is, he does, is a good chat. <laughs> I'll say that. Uh, next, Mashiro, Mind Droplet Drop 17% link, nothing too crazy here. Frenzy, Havoc 20%, Guard Break, Bruiser 20%. Strong attack damage link of 20%, but she does have the strong attack recharge skill of 12%. She's mainly a droplet unit, but now that they're coming out with droplet drop 30% characters, I feel like she kind of just got neutered. And uh, yeah, yeah, it's tough. She didn't even she didn't even get any innate skills. That's kind of sad. Uh, and last but not least, the last character on the banner, Christmas Raruka. If you already have this character, you don't really need any more of her. But for IT, for Hollow Week, she actually is pretty good. I don't really see the enemies get um, immune to Frozen very much. But if they are immune to Frozen, she's trash. If they're not immune to Frozen, she does have increased status element chance against Heart Attribute Hollows plus 10%, which is pretty good because she has a lot of range collision. Berserker 20%, no Havoc, which is really unfortunate because she was a mid-month seasonal. First strong attack, 18% magnification. Second strong attack is the 800 AoE distant second strong attack, and then standard full screen third. I actually remember her having a range collision second strong attack, but then again, I haven't really played with her too much, and I do have her 5 out of 5, if that gives you an indication of how often I really am interested in playing IT during Hollow, hollow Week. <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, overall, it's not a bad banner. Like, it, it is what it is. But if, you have, if you're missing a lot of these characters, I'd say toss in 5 steps. Um, only if you have an excess in orbs. If you're a new player and you have a ton of orb sources, like feel free to toss in five steps, who cares? Just be be very careful about chasing. That's the worst thing you can do in this game is just chase, 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 and then you put yourself in a bad position. Like if you're chasing for one character but you pulled everything else, stop. Literally just stop. You 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 already you already died. There's no reason to resurrect and die again. Okay? Next for the individual banners, you'll see here we have Yoruichi. Alkiora and Rukia. This is an easy, easy, easy skip. Which weird is that if you look at the other individuals, you have Spirit Society Waiichigo, Spirit Society Shinji. But instead of Spirit Society Lisa, they gave us only premium pool units for love. Easy skip. He's already the worst in the banner. Duru, just gone. Next, Shinji. Great, great Nad character. Retsu, good human killer if you need that. But I wouldn't really recommend summoning. I would not recommend summoning for her. Hiori, good Nad holo killer unit if you need that for guild quests not too shabby but i wouldn't summon for these characters however white spirit society white ichigo is a very very good character so if you're hunting for shinji and you get white ichigo it's not the end of the world um if you don't have white if you have white ichigo obviously i wouldn't really recommend summoning on this i'd say just summon on the main banner and if you get lucky cool if you don't get lucky then just wait farm the point event use your macros farm the point event to like fucking 1 billion like fucking Envy does, and then you're good to go. You'll probably pull these characters from Brave Soul tickets. And last but not least, Lisa, Spirit Society Shinji, or, um, Guild Quest Nell Yell, and uh, Christmas Nell Yell. This Nell, excellent in Guild Quest. Shinji, pretty good. He's an okay character. I wouldn't even call him great or nothing. He's all right. If you, if you end up getting dupes in him, I think he's worth working on, but there's just much better options. And of course, Lisa, in my opinion, best in banner. Um, just because she's an SP-based unit, she has Havoc, she has Frenzy, she's literally the best character for Mind, in my opinion. Um, obviously, that might change depending on how, when she comes out. If she's bad, we'll find out. And, uh, yeah, no, but just based on what I've seen on paper, she's busted. She's actually legit busted. Um, yeah. 
But I'm gonna leave it at that. You guys, grind, I'll catch up with you. Stay blessed. Like, comment, subscribe. Anybody enjoyed this video? Have a great day. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for all the support. I appreciate it. Uh, I get married in literally less than a month, which is actually freaking insane. And yeah, see y'all in the next one. Peace.